your name and where are you from? My name is Peter Kenway and I'm from the New Policy Institute which is a London based think tank. I have two questions from Twitter for you. The first question comes from Relationship Scotland and it is what can the government do to make life easier for the average Scottish family? I think probably what's most important for the average Scottish family, even the average British family, is that there are more jobs, that there are more jobs that pay at the very least a living wage and ideally a good deal more than that. And that there are prospects both as for parents people in their 40s and 50s as they approach uh, the end of their working lives that they will remain in employment and that they will be able to support their debts, pay off their debts and at the same time also that their children, as their children become young adults, that they too will be able to make that transition from the dependency of childhood to the independence of young adulthood and at the minute neither of those things is certain for uh, very large numbers of people who wouldn't for a moment think of themselves an aunt, uh, in any sense poor, but who face considerable uncertainty. So I think you know, jobs are the key to that, although I think uh, some rather less hostile rhetoric towards people uh, who find themselves uh, either out of work or with some uh, disability would be very helpful too. Thank you. The second question is from Milland Kolhatkar. And he says, OK, money is vital, but is the debate not too reductive if it ignores other ways to exchange value? Obviously, it would be too reductive to ignore everything else. Clearly, other forms of uh, community, of, if you like, exchanging value of, of uh, non-monetary, uh, non you know, volunteering, uh, we've heard some examples in the conference today, in the workshops, of some, some wonderful projects that rely on both paid uh, staff but also on volunteers. But the, the point is, in a sense what I was saying, was reacting against something that, that seemed to be being said earlier, was almost as if money doesn't matter. And obviously in our society that's uh, ludicrous. Money is essential, but of course money's not everything. And highlights from today? I think it's been very interesting, as it always is, to listen to the work that people are actually engaged in and the problems that they're facing at quite a grassroots level. Uh, one doesn't tend to perhaps to get that so much from the platform up here, but one does get that from the workshops and the, and the evidence sessions, and that's the reason why I come. Uh, apart from the, the opportunity to stand up and talk, but actually it's a, it's a real opportunity uh, to, to learn and it, it's a pity one can't be in more than one place at once. Thank you, Peter. Pleasure.